what's up guys it's lethal and in today's video i'm going to be covering a lot of information if you're on pc this is for you right out the gate i'll go ahead and say if you're on console you may not be able to take advantage of these settings because you can't run any of this from a console you have to run the drivers from a pc i will quickly be getting out some more controller videos and more console videos even though i'm on pc now i still have a controller right next to my mouse on screen you can see this scuff controller I have with the paddles on back, this scuff controller actually costs twice as much as this mouse. If you're on controller, like I said, we'll get to you real soon with some updated videos for controller. Right now though, if you're on PC, this is right up your alley. We're gonna go to Kovac Mouse Excel. The link was in my previous video. Pavohat has a mouse Excel tool. It is a CRU utility. Basically, as you can see, there's some settings in this video Kovac goes through some of what all of these do but in the end what I ended up using was a certain sensitivity cap as you can see he has 2300 dpi and a thousand hertz what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click out of this video and we're gonna explain how I use this utility I'm gonna give you some tips that aren't explained in the video the first thing is that as soon as you hit save changes you want it to save it to a profile. Right now, I already have a profile. I have Lethal Air profile, and then I save that. It's a dot profile for this application. The numbers that you're going to change, you're only gonna change three things. You're gonna change the post scale, the sensitivity cap, and the acceleration. Everything else in here, like the power, if you don't already have the power set at two, please do that, but the offset, and all that stuff you can leave the offset at zero i just have the offset at one this is going to make the most sense if you go ahead and plug these numbers even if you change them you're going to have to set the post scale the sensitivity cap and then the acceleration every time you change the post scale it's going to change these numbers in order to keep the scale that you have so the scale that i want is 0.3 so this is where it's going to start the scale is the starting point the acceleration is going to give you the curve and the sensitivity cap is going to give you a max speed 400 dpi would be one so about here is the max dpi that my mouse has the sensitivity cap though is at 0.8 so effectively my mouse dpi or the sensitivity is lower than what having a raw 400 dpi would allow and it has acceleration but it doesn't really matter because i can always go in the game software and change it so that this max speed helps me to move well but everything along this acceleration curve from slow to medium speed i'm going to be able to move slow to medium speed with acceleration and then there's a definite max speed if you're brand new go ahead and plug in my numbers going into file set usb refresh rate and set mouse dpi for reference only the reference number doesn't change your dpi and your mouse it only changes the reference for the graph you can play with this if you want but what i'll explain is that the post scale is your starting point for sensitivity this post scale for me i'm actually going to change to 0.2 and i'm going to go ahead and hit save and preview that gives me a really slow mouse movement. What I like to do is use this for fine aim. For this number here, I'm gonna change the sensitivity cap back to 2.5. I'm gonna change the sensitivity cap back to 2.5, hit preview and save. And 2.5 is a little low, so I'm gonna put 2.75, see if that helps any, raise it up a bit. What I wanna get is close to this number, uh, closer to the number eight. For that, I'm gonna have to change the Excel 0.267 and hit preview and then save. All right, so the scale is at 0.2. The acceleration needs to be a little bit more steep. So I'm gonna put 0 0.04 again and hit preview and save. So that basically puts me about medium hand speed, slow to medium hand speed. I can get acceleration, but at the max speed, it's gonna cap out. So if I'm moving really fast, then it's going to cap out at whatever this sensitivity is. So this is between 0.6 and 0.5. The effective DPI is about 56, 0 0.56, 0 0.57. So if you're a beginner, what you're gonna do right here in the power slot, I'm gonna go to that first and explain this to you. You have a choice between two and three. If you plug in three and hit preview, it's quadratic. So it's basically going to curve. 
the acceleration is going to start out slow and then the acceleration is going to speed up as you get closer to the speed but i don't want that you probably don't want that it will feel the worst this will be the hardest thing to adjust to a linear curve or a linear acceleration is probably the best for the both of us i'm experienced with this application and you may not be so linear is better and here's why if you ever change your acceleration, the acceleration is at this curve when you have it linear and you have a cap, whatever cap you change it to, like right now, the sensitivity cap is 2.75. If I change it to three and hit preview, the acceleration is the same. It doesn't matter what sensitivity you use as long as you keep the same acceleration and the same power of linear, then you can adjust to it fairly quickly. I, however, am just gonna leave it at 2.75. This is what I like. It feels good already. If I hit preview, I can test it. The way that you can test this out, if you plug in everything that I have here and make sure you check driver enabled, hit preview changes, then you can test this out. If you put the mouse in the middle of the screen, the cursor in the middle of the screen and your hand in the center of your mouse pad, you block the mouse off with one hand. You slowly move the mouse out to test your acceleration and quickly back. So slowly out as far as you can without touching the edge of the screen and then quickly back what you're going to notice is if there's no acceleration it doesn't matter how fast you move it it's never going to pass this spot if there is acceleration like right now i'm going to speed up the acceleration by a little bit i'm going to change acceleration to 0.05 and hit preview so I want it still closer to the middle instead of 0 0.05 we're gonna try 0 0.045 and that's good so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and preview again now I'm gonna test it out by moving it out slowly quickly moving it back moving it out slowly quickly moving it back slowly out quickly back It's not a lot of acceleration. If you're brand new to using this application, what I would do is pick an acceleration that you like and stick with that number. Leave it at two in the power slot so that your acceleration will be linear. And then just as long as you have linear acceleration and you pick a number that you like, it doesn't matter what you put on the post scale and the sensitivity cap, you'll still be able to adjust fairly easily to any changes as long as your acceleration and the power are the same. So here in the post scale, I have this at 0.2. I have a little bit of an offset because I want to be able to move slowly without it automatically accelerating, but the top sensitivity is topped out at about 0.825-ish, 0.83. The bottom of this is my post scale, which is at 0.2, but I have a little bit of an offset. My offset's on five, so five, 10, 15, this is the mark. I wouldn't set your offset any further than 15 because what's going to happen is you're going to move medium speed and as soon as you slow down a little bit your dpi is just going to tank on you you don't want that the three main settings that you're going to be messing with are the post scale the sensitivity cap and the offset like i said if you pick an acceleration that you like stay with that don't constantly change your acceleration or you're going to make your learning curve no pun very difficult you don't want a steep learning curve. I definitely don't recommend putting extreme acceleration. So 0 0.7 is kind of the max that I would go to. Once again, post scale, the acceleration is the middle of this graph and the sensitivity cap is the top where the max sensitivity that you want to be able to move. So since I have 400 DPI, my effective mouse sensitivity is close to 0.83 and that's okay. I can actually change that in game so this is gonna allow you to sort of have the same DPI, not have to change your DPI. You'll be able to have tiny micro movements like this, but you'll still be able to flick at max speed, but with a set acceleration cap. If there's any questions, if you can't run this app and you need help with that, I'll go through it one more time really quickly, just so you don't have to rewind in the video. If you click on the link in the bottom of this video description, you're going to download that. What you're gonna do is unzip it to your desktop once you unzip it to your desktop, you're going to go into that folder and you're going to select 64 bit if you have a 64 bit system or 32 bit if you have a 32 bit system. 
The applications have to work with your system. Whatever folder you pick, there's gonna be four applications inside of that folder. Enter Excel, Interception, Enter GUI, and then the settings.txt is not an application, but how this works is the Enter GUI is what we were just looking at. It helps you to pick your settings. After you save your settings, it saves it to a profile and it updates the settings text. So the Enter Excel EXE reads its settings from the text file and it uses this plugin in order to interact with the driver. So that's probably more than you needed to know, but in a nutshell, that's how it works. You need all four of these. Please don't delete any of these or try to modify them. The only one you have to modify is the Enter GUI. When you run the Enter Excel, then you're going to have to right click and run as admin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once it's running, I went ahead and ran it as admin. Once it's running, if you wanna close this and start over and change your settings, just hit Control Alt Delete in your task manager, go to Enter GUI and close that application. It will allow you to run this application again. And what I noticed, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Preview, Save, and then I'm gonna save it to the profile. I'm gonna replace that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit preview again so I can try and test this. Middle of mouse pad, middle of screen. I'm gonna move this out. I'm gonna try to pass it. So it definitely passed it slowly out, quickly in. So it passes it, but the acceleration is almost not noticeable. All right, everything is saved how I like it. These are my settings. Like I said, feel free to try out my settings if you like. I'm gonna leave this application open. I'm gonna go ahead and run this one right here. It takes a while for the Excel to actually kick in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same test. This might be because of the offset, but I'm gonna slowly move out, quickly in, slowly move out, quickly in. So any short movement like that, it's not gonna excel until you start moving. Like even if you move at a slow speed, it still will excel. If you do quick short movements like this, it's not going to excel because this is the speed cap. It basically caps it out at this speed here. But if you move slowly enough, it's going to excel. So if you're tracking a target long distance and you wanna slow down and speed up, as long as there's a certain amount of refreshes in between your movement, then it will excel. With the curve that I have, my flick shots, all my fast movements, anything that's faster than mid range or medium speed is gonna have the same distance. So right now I'm doing a flick shot, trying to go from the top left corner of this to the top right corner. I'm doing a flick shot and, it, and my flick shots are, are generally accurate. This little spot right here is where I'm aiming for doing these flick shots. If I move slow though, like the longer you move, the more the Excel will kick in. So the Excel is not for the fast movements. In this case, all the fast movements will generally have about the same distance as you can see from me doing my flicks. But as I move slowly, the Excel kicks in. So we're gonna try this out What's up guys? This is Future Lethal Air. And unfortunately this video had reached 15 minutes. I was not sure how much footage I got. I was hoping to put gameplay in it, but what I will do is put the testing for Fortnite Apex and Titanfall in a future upload. So if you haven't already, make sure that you're subscribed with notifications. That way you don't miss anything. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Also in the comment section, if this has helped you in any way, if mouse acceleration worked for you, or even if it didn't, talk to me down there. Let me know. We can figure out a solution for those of you who need that extra help. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in another one. Peace. Nice